Here's how to create AI generated images right from your pixel. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips and app reviews and a metric ton of Google content. Today we're hands on with Pixel Studio app. Let's go. Pixel Studio is your on-device AI image generator. It uses generative AI to allow you to create custom images on Pixel. It's powered by an on-device diffusion model running on TensorG4 and Imagine 3 text-to-image model in the cloud. With it, you can make your own personal art and share it with whomever you please. So here's how to create an image in Pixel Studio. First, Pixel Studio requires downloading the Pixel AI image model, and then it's time to create images. And no, you can't make images of humans yet. Pixel Studio is working on it. When you open Pixel Studio, you'll be given sample images and corresponding prompts and categories that serve as inspiration for the types of images you can create. So these will change, but you may see things like product photography or maybe wildlife photography. I even have some Halloween themed categories since it's near Halloween when I'm recording this video. To create an image from scratch, tap on create at the bottom. Simply type in a prompt to create a custom image. So I'm gonna create a Halloween party invite image of a witch flying through a foggy forest with a full moon. And let's see how it does. Okay, so this isn't too bad. I can save this image as it is by tapping on the export option near the top right or I can regenerate the image if I'm not super happy with it by tapping on the circle arrow underneath the prompt. Okay, so I still like this original one better, but maybe I want to remove this, I don't know, are these rocks from the water? I will tap on stickers and tools. And from here, I can add a caption or a sticker to the image, but instead I'll tap circle or brush what it is that I'd like to edit. You have the option to make a sticker or erase that selection. I'll tap on erase. And just like that, bye-bye weird rocks. So now I will save this image and here we go. This was the final image I made with just a few taps. Okay, not bad, but you can also change the style of the image. Here's what I mean. When you type in a prompt, you have the style type directly underneath that prompt. By default, Pixel Studio will generate a freestyle image for you, but you can tap on that to activate additional style suggestions like 3D cartoon, video games, cinematic, sketch, anime, or sticker. So for this, maybe I'll pick cinematic and see how it does. And in literal seconds, check out this incredible image of a sloth on a tree branch in Costa Rica rainforest. Wow. If you are curious about what this same prompt would look like in an alternate style, by the way, you can tap on the little image style icon under the prompt and then select whatever other style you'd like. So here's that same prompt generated in an anime style. And yes, it saves the original image. If you want to go back, you can simply swipe to get to it again. You can also add to your prompt at any time. So back with our cutie sloth example, maybe I'd like to add that it's holding a baby sloth and see how this regenerates the image for me. OMG, can you even? This is so cute. I've had so much fun playing with different styles and images and combining a couple of my favorite animals like, mm, oh, this penguin wearing a top hat riding an elephant, because why not? Or how about this super realistic freestyle image of a border collie catching a ball? Unreal. But you can also use Pixel Studio to do a little bit of editing to your existing photos. Tap on the image icon at the bottom of the app and select a photo from your camera roll. Here you can tap to add a caption. So this is a really easy way to caption an existing photo from your device, or you can also add a sticker to the photo. It's also really easy to return to a project at a later time. From the homepage, tap on the My Projects icon in the top left, it looks like little folders stacked. Here you can scroll through your existing projects and tap on the one you'd like to reopen. From here, you can change the prompt, you can add stickers or captions or change the style, just the same as the day you first created the project. In terms of availability, Pixel Studio is currently only available on the Pixel 9 series in about eight countries, which are, let's go, Canada, US, UK, Ireland, India, Malaysia, Singapore, and Australia, for now. More countries and languages other than English are coming soon. Happy image creating. 
So now I wanna hear from you. What cool images have you created with Pixel Studio app? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.